Hi, I'm Richard Westerby and welcome back to the IVF Daddies podcast. Today, we're going to talk through one of the things I mentioned in the last episode, which was understanding a clinic's success rates. Ultimately, we want to know the live birth rate. That is our goal, going home with a live baby. But to understand live birth rates, you need to understand success rates. IVF clinics will typically lump together transfer rates, pregnancy rates, live birth rates. When a transfer happens, the clinic will do two blood tests to measure human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG. That is a hormone that is released by the body as a woman is pregnant, and it is an indicator that a pregnancy is ongoing and the embryo is growing. So a successful transfer will be when the frozen embryo or an embryo that is fresh is transferred into the uterus. You will have two blood tests followed by a vaginal ultrasound. The blood test will measure the HCG levels. If they are rising, that is deemed a successful transfer. At six weeks, you will then have a vaginal ultrasound, which will be a heartbeat scan. That is to see whether or not the embryo itself has a heartbeat. That to me was one of the most important days in my pregnancy because that is a successful pregnancy. So you've got successful transfer, which is when the embryo is implanted into the uterus. And then you have a successful pregnancy, which is around six weeks, which is when the heartbeat is then monitored. An ongoing pregnancy obviously means that the pregnancy keeps on going and you reach up to a live birth. What is the difference between a pregnancy transfer and a live birth rate? For example, I have twins. When the doctor implanted two embryos into my surrogate, they both took. That was a 100% transfer rate. They both made it to being babies. So it was a 100% live birth rate. Now, had the doctor implanted two embryos and only one had taken, you would assume that that is a 100% pregnancy rate, and you would be right. But it would only be a 50% successful transfer rate because two were implanted and only one took. So for me, two implanted, two took, two babies, that is a 100% success rate right the way through. Had, for example, two implanted, one heartbeat, one baby, some clinics may say that's a 100% success rate implantation, not live birth. What if you put in two and nothing happens? Well, then there's no successful transfer of pregnancy with live birth. So it's really important to understand what is the difference between transfer, pregnancy, and live birth rate. Back when I did this, most clinics didn't have a great success rate. Transfer, pregnancy, or live birth. So what they would do is they would put in two embryos in order to get to one. Now, with advances in technology, advances in freezing and thawing rates, what typically will happen is the clinic will put in one embryo in order to get one baby. So it's very rare now to have two embryos or a double embryo transfer making through to twins. So when you're talking to your clinic, again, ask them, what is your single embryo transfer, live birth rate, pregnancy rate, transfer rate? Because that would give you a really good indication and make sure that the clinic is transparent in how they make these numbers available to you so that you can understand the total amount of transfers they do in a year and how many of those lead through to a live birth. Remember, in the United States, every clinic must report their success rates. They do it to either the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Prevention and Control, or through to SART, which is the Society for Assisted Reproductive Technology. Both have websites. You can go and see what information has been published online. Really important to look at that data and compare that data to what your clinic is providing you. If there's a discrepancy, ask why. Remember though, when choosing your clinic, it's not only about success rates and data. It's also about the level of compassionate care, the exceptional effort these people are going to give you 
in making you feel confident that they know what they're doing, that you know what's happening, that you feel comfortable. The team around you is going to look after you and make sure that's happening. If they are doing that, then they're doing a wonderful job. So three questions to ask at this point. What is the clinic's transfer rate, pregnancy rate, live birth rate? Are they being open and transparent about how they calculated their statistics? And thirdly, do you get the feeling of the compassionate care, the exceptional effort they're making in giving the information to you? If you've liked this short episode, please like, subscribe, follow. We're here to help. Thank you.